Thank you. We're following a developing story right now. Miami's Wynwood neighborhood, an armed woman inside her car refusing to come out. The tense standoff with police and SWAT teams has been underway since early this morning. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live in Wynwood where that scene is still active. Peter. <laughs> Well, Ruta Bay, Miami police tonight are not identifying the woman, but they do tell us she's between 40 and 50 years old. It claims the gun that she has is for her own protection. Now, this yellow crime scene tape right here has been up since 8.30 this morning, meaning that Miami police officers have been on this scene for more than nine and a half hours. Let's take a look right now down a very busy Miami Avenue filled with flashing lights and dozens of officers involved in this standoff. From Chopper 4, we see black Miami police SWAT team vehicles surrounding a white car with dark tinted windows. The scene is just north of 20th Street on Miami Avenue, and it is where a woman has barricaded herself inside her car. The SWAT team is called out as a precaution along with Miami Fire Rescue. It is a stalemate that has been going on for hours. It first unfolded when an officer looked into a car that had been parked here for several days, perhaps weeks. They discovered that there was a female inside the vehicle. As he started talking to her, he discovered a gun. Immediately he backed off, uh, called for more officers, and that's where we have a perimeter here. Miami Avenue was sealed off between North 20th and 23rd Streets. Police are cautious since the woman sits behind the these dark windows with her gun. We do know that that woman did make a statement that that's for her protection, that gun. Uh, again, we don't know why she had that gun. Uh, does she intend to use it? on herself, on any officers, it's up in the air, but I could tell you we have plenty of resources here for the safety of not only our officers, but the community. For hours, a woman sits in her car with the engine off. The information I'm getting is that she has opened the door a few times to get a little air. Our officers are in contact with her. We do know that, you know, she's there. She's speaking to, with them periodically. Uh, we Again, we're offering her food and water. Uh, you know, safety is paramount, but we want this young lady to come out of the vehicle. Police were not rushing to resolve this situation. We want a safe resolution. Again, uh, time is on our side. We have lots of patients. We are here and we'll, we'll be here as long as it takes because we want a safe resolution. We want that young lady to come out without the gun. We want to get her the help she needs. Um, at the end of the day, we don't want anybody to get hurt. And back here live right now as we speak, police tell us they're simply not taking any chances. This is indeed a delicate situation. They are trained to handle it. Now, negotiators continue at this point to speak with a woman. We asked Commander Freddy Cruz if he thought she was homeless. He could not say. Our own Hank Tester will be back at 7 with an update. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.